think the new general market matters for brands for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's really, we talked about, I love people saying consumers, I don't like the word users, just people, humans, grow communities and grow communities of advocates. So brands that really are leaning in and producing content and experiences for that market really are fueling advocacy. Um, I don't so much want to talk about community, and I'll tell you why, but advocacy really matters. Emmett just said in the last panel, hey, look it, it's all accretive. When we lean in and they lean into us, we all grow the marketplace and everybody wins. And that's really why we build advocates. It's not so much so people like our brand in Facebook. It's so that they're referring and buying and recommending and improving our product. And more importantly, improving that ecosystem, the collaborators and partners that make every one of your brands who it is in the world. And a great community, right? Because for us, philosophically, you build the right community and the sky is the limit. Yeah. And what we've learned is we know how to make really good product, but if you build the right community and you build it in a transparent, inclusive, communicative <coughs> way, they can help you make everything even better. Um, what we also learned um, and what we're still learning is that um, communities are not just interested in the product. Mm -hmm. They're interested in their aspirations and their lifestyles and their value and the value that those products can deliver. Well, I'll take the example of uh, soft lips cube. That is first to build upon uh, again uh, what the consumer decision tree of or how they how they shop and they shop by brands. Uh, as far as the lip balm, we shop by packaging, flavor, and then benefit and price. And so we strive to uh, to to go by this uh, architecture and celebrate the product uh, okay. throughout everything we do, both uh, in store and out of store, uh, striving to be placed next to. Uh, uh, the competitor, uh, and as well to celebrate our unique product packaging. I wanted, I wanted Hello to be a place you joined, and I wanted Hello to be a place and a, and a brand that when people used it or saw it, they felt it spoke to them. And uh, again, you can't say you want to make personal care personal again and then not be reachable. So one of the things that I try to do to build community pretty fast was I literally write back or call every single person that writes your calls. And I know that that does not scale very easily. And I spend between like five and seven in the morning answering people and usually between like 11.30 and one to 1.30 at night. So I think rhythm yeah. is, is, is a key factor to know if you're really connecting with the new shopper or the new consumer or any consumer. Because we still have 50% of our shoppers are still boomers. Uh, but uh, the concern is are we in rhythm with the journey of the consumer, wherever they are. And, and uh, so you have to really pay special attention to that. Uh, but I think the harder part is what we we're all talking about is the softer side. And, and this is usually what gets me in trouble uh, with my organization when I have conversations around ideas, because we're always testing and trying new things. And I think experimentation is obviously critical. In so doing the very marketing thing, what we realize is we seeded authority in a good way because we are now not, quote unquote, running the brand. We're listening, hearing from this community that we've engaged with and given them the power to tell us what the product should be, what the, how the product should speak, uh, how the whole relationship of our products, which is a very intimate relationship, mm -hmm. should engage in their life and when. We, we just said, let's help support their lifestyle. What do they really want to know? They, they kind of want to know a little bit about the products, but they really want to know, give me some tips on how to develop relationships. And that's how we built our community. It's more of that content. We're providing them that thought leadership or knowledge or education that they're seeking, not in an overt way, in a more subliminal way because of the nature of the product line. Because the key word in this topic is how do you create an authentic brand engagement. Authenticity has been tossed around here a lot. We hear that word authentic, authentic, I want to be authentic. And the answer to the question is simple, but it's hard. If you want to be authentic, it's all about that first word, be authentic. 
It's deeds, not words. Shannon a little earlier said, know yourself. I'd extend on that and then say, and be yourself. If you have to hire a consultant to figure out your authenticity strategy, you're probably not authentic. If you have to go to your ad agency and say, put together a program so we can tell people how we're authentic, you are probably not authentic. If you have to tell me 27 times that you're authentic, you're probably not authentic. 